he gets where we are. Austin Homebrew Supply. I'm going to catch you in the window. Austin Homebrew Supply. Austin Homebrew Supply. Let's go in. Okay, now I'm in Austin Homebrew. And Jimmy's going to fix me up here. I'm getting the um, HB51 Collaboration Amber Ale, and he's going to make the recipe for me. So he just now looked it up on the computer. And now he's going to go fix the ingredients together, and I'll film This it. is the secret room where they go in to mix the ingredients. So here he goes, and he's going to go in the different bins and collect exactly what's in that amber ale, which I if I, if I remember right, it's like nine pounds of two-row and uh, about another pound of specialty grains. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually pay that close attention uh, after I read about it. I mean, I read about it on the website. Let me get it here to get it. So he's putting the stuff in and measuring it. And all this is behind a glass. So, so we can't go in there. He's back there doing this. And, and sometimes when you come up here and it's busy, there'll be two or three guys in there doing uh, measuring ingredients and milling the grain. It's really cool. And I know so many of you use Austin homebrew supplies for you to get all your stuff and that you'd love to see what this looks like in here so that's why I, I finally got to getting to film it because um, we're always talking about it and you know I live here so I just get to run up here and get stuff whenever I want to so I know it's not fair it's not fair see he's still measuring stuff Measuring things, measuring things. So he's measuring the specialty grains and the and the two row. And now he's adding the specialty grains to the two row. Okay. See the big grain barrels? You want to see the grain barrels? Look at that. Pale ale malt, two row, Munich malt, Maris Otter, red wheat. Look at all that stuff. Wouldn't you love to be in there? Look at all the stuff underneath there. And, I, and when I came to their open house, I got to go in the back and uh, I saw all the giant bags and things of stuff. It was just really great. There's, there's uh, bins of things across the way too. Uh, Belgian pale ale malt, white wheat. Let's see if I can zoom you. All kinds of good things. And then over here's a bunch of specialty stuff too. I mean, they, they got it all here at Austin Homebrew Supply. Okay, now. He's measuring the uh, the grains all into the, the big uh, hopper, and he's going to crush them. So Jimmy's going to crush our grains for us now. He's crushing them. Crushing the grains. I can't really get close enough up on it for you to see the grains getting crushed. There's the grains all crushed now, and now he's going to put them in the paper bag. So that's the uh, the two row and all the specialty grains that go with it. Making sure to get all those little sugary goodness bits in the bag. Good man. Okay, now he's going to seal it up for me. Good job. We got an air filtration system in there, I'll bet, that, man. You want to keep the dust down as much as possible in that room, I would think. Okay, off with his air filter mask. All right, so there's my grains for my uh, HB51 Amber, Amber Ale.
Harry's coming out. And here's their, uh, here's their special employee right here. This is the alien with the cowboy hat. Always stands there. Okay, now we're, uh, we'll get that, my hops and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Nottingham this time. Cause this is just for the brew in the bag. So here he's getting out my, uh, my yeast. And, the, and everything is kept in the cooler, see? So nothing's gonna go bad. Look at all, this, look at all these yeasts, look at all these. Drool, guys. So when you order stuff, they come out here and get it. Okay, and then uh, over here he's gonna pick up my hops. Pick up my hops. And that, he says, is it. Thanks, Jimmy.